With episode 2 of The Promised Neverland, I can say that my expectations for this show are being met, and then some. Episode 2 once again goes past what I thought the manga did, and I thought the manga was the first arc was absolutely incredible. Seeing how the anime is taking what I loved about the atmosphere, the characters, the up-close and very disturbing close-up shots to really make you think, wow, these characters have to be shitting their pants because that has to be terrifying. They're taking that and making it so much better and more creepy because they're adding in the music, they're adding in the sound effects, they're adding in just the disturbing atmosphere so much better because now we got colors and movements and amazing directing, playing around with scale and perspective. This is incredible and the music in this show is so damn good. The ending song, love the bass and the ending song, it's absolutely catchy. The opening's great, but the OST, how it plays throughout this episode, building in that that tense atmosphere making you shake alongside the characters because that's how terrifying it is to then the conversation between Norman and Ray at the end of the episode, it slowly builds into this anthem-like song that's almost inspiring and frightening all at the same time. The range for what I've heard in the music so far within two episodes surpasses most anime in any given season. That's how damn good the soundtrack is. Episode 2 of The Promised Neverland, holy hell, was incredible. I was surprised by how disturbed I was, not only because I know the first arc source material, but also because it just goes so into the creepy atmosphere. Watching Emma and Norman just slowly kind of figure out what's going on and also responding because Emma's absolutely terrified and rightfully so even though they may be geniuses in this orphanage to learn that your mother has essentially been raising you for cattle as they're trying to piece together what's happening figuring out why is it that we haven't been shipped out what age range are they shipping out the meat maybe it's for freshness and what tastes better but then learning that the reason that you know educated brains last longer is because the brains probably taste better just them piecing together things that most kids wouldn't be able to figure out because most kids would just be terrified which is pretty much the entire orphanage these three are the three stars in this place it's up to them if they want to keep the basically babies of the orphanage safe so them kind of piecing it together i like how in any other circumstance would be completely unrealistic but because you have these kind of einsteins in this building it's nice seeing how kids of their age range can piece together such impossible situations and come to a rational conclusion while still clear being terrified where you'll see Norman just very disturbed after what just happened but he held it together in the moment but could he continue to hold it if he was there a minute longer just the way they're presenting mama in this show is so good it is going above expectations when I saw the scene with Emma kind of looking for the drawing of the previous kid there and then mama comes up and just has that close-up shot that was one of the most just kind of shocking moments in the early chapters of this series because it was just like holy hell like they really aren't afraid to make you feel scared of this woman who seems to be so loving and nurturing and they went even better in the anime the close-ups just the way they were directing that shot the quick cutaways between Norman as well as Emma and just how Emma bluffs to the ultimate degree even saying hey I wonder what happened to our previous friend here like you can tell in this moment like mama's like if someone's creeping outside the walls it's got to be the stars here because there's no way these kids are pulling it but they're playing it so perfectly and so smoothly that she knows she can't catch them so she brings in sister crone who is my favorite character in the first arc that's how much I love this character when this character gets introduced things just change and I can't wait to see how this season is gonna play out sister crone's voice actress is a bit different than what I had originally in my head but so far with what I've heard I do like her voice it was just a different voice in my head but I'm really excited to see how she's going to deliver performances because so far mama has been casted so perfectly so disturbing when she needs to be but also that sweet and lovable mama when she needs to so i have no doubt that sister crow is going to nail it as well second favorite character in this first arc is definitely ray ray's always been an interesting character and it's mainly because of the central dynamic between emma norman and ray ray is very logical he sees like okay if it's just us we can survive clearly but if we take 37 kids most of which are six-year-olds and like there's no way you can't save that many it's completely illogical and I like how you have this kind of back and forth between Norman and Ray because Norman is essentially just like saying like I agree it's probably impossible but when you see just the kind hardness and the lovable nature of Emma you kind of want to support it where Ray is going to be like reluctantly following because it's like holy shit you guys are going to get us all killed but I can't do this alone so I'm going to have to work together it's kind of interesting because typically when you have the character who's just trying to do the right thing I'm not overly fond of but because in this situation where you have a family this is a family to them and one character being very much determined of being more scared of losing her family than getting killed 
is something you want to follow and respect and kind of root for because it's something this type of dynamic you don't get to see enough of and you're really curious can they succeed with this impossible plan because it's more fun to follow an impossible plan than it is to just watch three geniuses escape without much struggle absolutely love it love seeing the subtle kind of clues like how's mama always tracking us and then she looks at a pocket watch and they kind of piece that together well shit they're not watching the perimeter they're watching us like this is what i love about the promised everland and why i adored the first arc so much because it just keeps throwing interesting things your way seeing all these little clues of like what's the point of this and then the kids once again discovering and emma having to come to the realization that hey once we escape there's probably nowhere for us to escape to like it just constantly throws things that makes this series more and more terrifying as you kind of are surrounded with really interesting and genuine interactions I love it when these kids laugh and smile because a lot of the times you're seeing it's kind of overly forced and fake because you don't want mama catching on but those scenes at the end of the episode between our central three characters were so lovable and rootable because you kind of see like why they're all kind of following together and why they're not splitting apart because they are a genuine family and also friends it's so well directed i love the directing a lot of people you know were unsure could this series be directed so perfectly but so far this series is legitimately creeping me out and at times making me a little fearful i'm like i know what's happening but just the way they're directing with the lighting the camera work the close-ups it's very disturbing and the voice actors are absolutely killing it making you feel like these are terrified but also the best damn liars that you could expect promise neverland episode 2 is doing everything that i'm hoping for and so much more everything that i wanted this series to be is so far 100 achieved it's absolutely incredible they keep throwing new and interesting ideas your way while building on to the amazing cliffhanger of last week and just seeing how kids would respond and of course everyone's gonna be like i can't wait to see how more and more kids will respond to this impossible situation because so far we just have three brainiacs who can logically piece things together and that's why they naturally would respond the ray stuff the crone stuff i can't wait to see more those characters are absolutely incredible but emma and norman are also amazing this cast of characters is pretty damn good at least for the central cast can't wait to see where episode three is going to go next week let me know whatever you thought though down in that comment section below did you love it did you hate your favorite moment for originals to this series where do you think it's going to go next week? Let me know and be sure to like the video if you did enjoy and also hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. So until next time everyone, please take care and have a good one.